guys welcome back to part 4 of this tutorial so in our previous part we have learned how we can be able to display this data we have added on click listener and even we have displayed the card the image the name and the description so for this part 4 we are going to add a search filter where you can be able to filter these items so the first thing we are going to do is create a menu resource so I'm going to have it menu and the name I'm going to give it is menu. Within here, I'm going to have an item and I'm going to give it a title to be search view. I'm going to give it ID. I'm going to give it icon. And I'm going to show always and I'm going to have action view class and my action view class is search view so remember our search view is Android X so I'm going to go back to my main activity and I'm going to override a method called or create view options so within here I'm going to have menu inflator dot inflate our menu and then after inflating our menu we are going to have one menu item which will be now our menu dot find all dot id dot search view so let's check if this one is empty finally we have our search view search view which is our menu item dot action view So we are going to have this one as we are going to cast it to search view. Remember, we are going to have Android X compact search view. So we just remove this one. Then we are going to have search view dot set max width, which is equals to int dot max width. And finally, we're going to listen such view dot set on query listener. So I'm going to have object. Then I'm going to have on query. So I'm going to have object here, which I'm going to have on query text change listener. Then I'm going to override the two methods. We have on submit and on change. So I'm going to return true. And here I'm going to return true. This one also I'm going to return true. So we need to check. For now I'm going to toast or to log. Then I'm going to have tag. Then I'm going to log the text change. So I'm going to check my imports to ensure I've import. You see now, I'm going to remove this one and import it as Android X Cup Compact. So guys, as you can see, what we have done is we have added our menu. Within the menu, we have menu, 
dot xml and then we back to our main activity override on create options menu then inflate your menu get your id of the menu you want to inflate that is our search view and then listen to query change so let's learn and see So we have our search view here then let's see when we search if we are going to log any data so if i see apple you can see we are logging in so tab and then we have as we type it's the data is being logged so the next thing we are going to do is for now we are not filtering the recycle view. so the next thing i'm going to do is within my item adapter i'm going to implement filter it's here and then i'm going to override or implement a mailbox method here and finally i'm going to have one filter of type filter which is the question filter And I'm going to return filter here. So let's actually let's uh, let's return the whole of this one. So I'm going to have return object, and my object will be filter. And then within filter, we are going to have our methods here okay then i'm going to have to implement these members so as you can see guys this method is the get filter method implements our filter and then we return the object that is containing a filter then filter has two methods perform filtering and publish publish results so the first thing i'm going to do is have one filter results of type filter results Then I'm going to check if let's call this one car sequence. So if our car sequence if it equals to null or the length car sequence dot length is less than zero. Or equal, equal to zero meaning we don't have anything that is being filtered i'm going to return an empty so guys check here very closely i've added item motorist filter which will be the same as my item motorist so if you're not filtering i'm going to return filter results dot count will be dot size wait so oh, this one should be this should be equals to this and finally we have our filter results dot values is equals to item filter else if you're trying to filter anything the first thing that i'm going to have is one search character of type string
which will be our character sequence dot to string dot to lowercase then i'm going to have val item model which will be a list of item model and then i'm going to have for create a for loop for items in my filter item filter list this one if our search character if our items dot contain dot name dot let's lowercase it lowercase dot contain our search character here we are going to filter depending on the name and the description items dot description dot to lowercase dot contains our search character then we are going to have our item model dot add so this should be an array list dot add our item finally after we add we are going to have our filter results dot count which will be item model dot size and filter results dot varies which will be our item model so let me explain what is happening in this method called perform filter so within the perform filtering as you can see it implements filter results so we have a variable called filter results of type field which is equal to filter results then you are checking if the user is performing filter or not if not we are returning our full size of our item model list filter else we are creating an empty array and if the filter we find the item that is being filtered we are adding it to our array list here and then our filter results now changes from this one from item model list filter to our item model and finally here we are returning filter results then publish results within the publish results i'm going to have my item model list will be our p1 as you can see which is now filter results dot varies then i'm going to cast it to array list we are going to check if it's empty then we are going to notify set data changed so guys i hope you have been able to understand if you are still experiencing any problem within the filter just comment below and i will respond to you so back to my main activity then i'm going to have my adapter dot get filter dot filter then i'm going to pass our filter character let's learn this one So we are going to search our item. We are going to start with Apple. So we are, as you can see, uh, when I start typing Apple, then Apple appears and I click, we are opening a new activity. Let's try to search. Banana, it's here. 
and I click no action. You can try to search oranges, it's here. So that's all guys. This is the final uh, part and I hope you've been able to understand how to create a Sakura view, how to add a click listener, the search view and even click open a new activity and pass the data to the new activity. If you, have st if you still have any question regarding the Sakura view, comment below and I will respond to you. Thank you for watching. If you are new, remember to subscribe and thank you for watching.